I'm going to guess you've been in the business quite a while. Only a short time, sir. 62 years. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Today, my travels take me to our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., where right around the corner from the White House, you'll find a building with a very unassuming entryway. 1616 H Street is the home of Capital Coin. Uh, down in the basement, there is a corridor that leads you to Capital Coin. And I'll tell you what, this place is like a museum. And the curator, Mr. Whitman, happens to be a national treasure. Hey, if you enjoy coin shop videos like this, where I travel all around and talk to interesting people, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell to be alerted to my next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm here with Nelson Whitman at Capital Coin and Stamp. How are you, Mr. Whitman? I'm in really good shape, thank you. Yeah, you know what? I was watching uh, your video made by uh, one of my heroes on uh, the world of YouTube, uh, the International Stacker, and I happen to be in D.C., so I was intrigued, thought I'd stop by. Uh, thanks for shooting a video with me. Well, I appreciate you coming by. Any uh, questions you have, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, sure. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm going to guess you've been in the business quite a while. Only a short time, sir. 62 years. Oh, my goodness. You've uh, seen a lot come and go in those 62 years. Sure have. Sure have. And, uh, are, are you, and you're going strong? Are you going to continue uh, indefinitely? Well, hopefully I can, as long as my health holds up, uh -huh. Hopefully I can continue, uh -huh. although they're in the process of trying to sell the building, okay. so I may have to move, okay. which I don't really want to do because I've moved six times already. Oh my goodness. Uh, D.C. property is just uh, crazy, isn't it? Well, we were on the street for 20 years at 17th and L. Okay. They sold the building, the rent is like 10000 a month, and I don't uh -huh. want to go bankrupt. Uh -huh. Which is why I'm down here. Yeah. Which is a good location because Secret Service is next door uh -huh. and the White House is only a block away. Yeah, we just passed, uh, walked past the White House and, uh, you know, there's protests going on and kind of par for the course. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of action here in D.C. all the time, isn't there? All the time. Yeah. Regarding numismatics, bullion, uh, I noticed you have a, a massive uh, political button collection. Uh, and this place is, we just walked from the Smithsonian Institute. Oh. Uh, it, this place is like a mini version of the Smithsonian. Well, I call it a museum, but it's all for sale. Yeah, and it's, you've got so much cool stuff in here. Thank you. Uh, do you specialize in any particular area? No, okay. specialize in mainly coins and political memorabilia. Okay, and uh, what era of uh, coins? All the way back to uh, the, the beginning of U.S. coins, 1700. Colonial coins, paper money, mm -hmm. foreign coins, mm -hmm. so a little I, bit of everything. As far as I could tell, you're the only coin shop around this area. I'm the only one in D.C., otherwise you have to go to Virginia or Maryland. Wow, so right. uh, have you had some politicians here, some famous people? Uh, oh, I've had them over a period of years, yes. Uh -huh. Those of us who are new to coin collecting, any advice? Uh, well, the main thing is to... Pick out something that you like and don't look at it as an investment. Look at it as a collectible and something that you enjoy doing. I see. You, any uh, pitfalls to avoid that you think uh, you know the, the, the newer coin collectors might be uh, helped by hearing? Well, the main thing is uh, probably not buy too much off of the TV because a lot of the TV ads uh, are uh, bullion related, but they jack up the prices and uh, the, a lot of the dealers clean coins, and so it's not a good idea to uh, buy a lot of stuff off of the uh, television. Back to bullion, uh, do you have quite a few people coming in here looking for bullion, or are you mostly numismatics? Uh, both. Okay. And paper currency? Uh, a lot of paper currency, a foreign paper currency, uh -huh. four books of that, I have U.S. currency. Well, I'm going to take a look around, maybe make a couple purchases, and uh, thank you for your time, sir. I appreciate you coming by, and uh, uh, hopefully you can find something. Thank you. 
Okay, Mr. Whitman is helping a customer, and I ran into Tiffany here. Tiffany, welcome to the program. Hi, thank you. And uh, we were just talking, you're a fellow silver stacker. I am. And why silver over gold? Well, because I can afford it more yeah. easily and more readily than gold. <laughs> uh, I hear you. I'm the exact same way. I, you know, I buy my silver, and I collect it and accumulate it. And every once in a while, I'll mix in a little gold. Yes, it's a treat once in a while. Mm -hmm. And so what do you uh, primarily look for? Uh, uh, coins, rounds, I like bars? interesting items. Same and here. I like unique rounds um, and unique bars. Uh, that's primarily my collection right now. You know, I started with the books. Mm -hmm. um, my partner got me into this a couple of years ago. I wasn't interested at all. <laughs> a couple of years later, I'm in a coin shop in DC, and that's how I'm spending my afternoon before I fly out. <laughs> oh, where's home? Uh, Florida and Texas. Okay, got it. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I haven't been to any coin shops in Texas, but there's some good ones in Florida. There are also some good ones in Texas, up okay. around Dallas and Plano. Oh, really? Yes, okay. And Fort Worth area as well. Yeah, I noticed it seems like where people are a little more on the conservative side. Uh, they're more into saving in an alternative manner and, you know, putting the silver and the gold away in a safe and kind of taking it away from the system and away from the banking. And what are some of your favorite pieces that you have back at home? Oh, goodness. I, I probably, I like all of it. Okay. <laughs> so nothing in particular. Um, like I said, I like unique pieces. Some of them are probably not uh, worth anything to anyone but me, but they're cool to me. Yeah, you know what? That's the way I think about it. Well, hey, thank you so much for the time. I'll let you get back to your shopping. And uh, yeah, safe travels. Thank you. You likewise. Now it is that time of the video where I reveal what I purchased at this coin shop. But first, a special thank you to my channel members and a shout out to my buddy Eric, the best bus driver in Washington, D.C. And thank you for watching now let me show you what i picked up and you know every coin shop i go to i ask for the same thing do you have any libertads there you go and 1990 and i also picked up a couple of other interesting pieces look at the tone on this american silver eagle very very pretty and so nice i picked up too look at that tone around the rim and speaking of tone, uh, the one I'm about to show you right here, just, oh my goodness, it just blew me away. Look at that beautiful color, that natural toning. I knew I saw it. I just had to add that to my collection. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Two. Okay.